I'd give anything if it meant I could see Finn again. Committing necromancy? You could be hanged for what you're doing. Think about what the Witchfinder would do to you. The school will officially trade you Finn's painting in exchange for all of those books. Thank you so much. I can't even express how much this means to me. That's two of six, Finn. I can do this. We can do this. Amelia! Whatever escape plan you've hatched, if you think it will save you, you are sorely mistaken. Tis the fate of all witches in Fegafoya to hang upon my gallows. Mark my words, once I find you again, you will regret this slight. Thank you kindly, child. I owe you my life. I worry, though, that you've only exposed yourself to danger by acting on my behalf. Do you truly believe so strongly in my innocence, or do you have ulterior motives? Ul- to what now? I don't know what that means. Ah, I only meant to question whether there's something you want from me, or if it was out of the kindness of your heart that you freed me. Oh, it's- uh, kind of both, I guess. I really don't think you deserve to die, but I do need help with something. Something that a witch might be good at. <laughs> <laughs> the charges against me were false. I am no witch, yet I may still be of some use to you. Tell me what it is that you need. My brother, Finn, he, he died. I think I know a way to bring him back to life. After he died, I went to his grave and braided some almonds there. Candied almonds were his absolute favorite, so I thought he'd like it, you know? Didn't think much about it, but then I heard a voice that sounded like his mother telling me if I buried six of his prized possessions under the nearby tree, he'd come back to life. We have to do it by nightfall, though, otherwise it won't work. The loss of a loved one is never an easy burden to bear. I'm sure Finn was a lovely young man, though I cannot promise success or even my full belief. I shall do what I can to help you in this quest, as I owe you that much, at least. You will? Oh, thank you. Having two of us will make this so much easier. <laughs> It would seem to think that I've abducted my death. At least, you won't bear any of the blame when this is over. But you didn't hurt me. I can just tell them so. Such people are not easily swayed once they've made up their minds. In their eyes, I'm a witch, and you're my victim. And nothing we can say will change that. Come, before they decide their strength in numbers. We should leave town. They'll not follow us past their own borders, but first... Hear me now. The girl Marlene belongs to me and my coven. There's naught you can do to save her now. Now be gone the lot of you. Lest you wake tomorrow to find doom upon all fate for her. Don't you worry, Marlene. I'll let your mother know what's happened. We'll save you. Now there'll be no convincing them of your innocence. They were already assured of my guilt. That hasn't changed yet. My act has proven your innocence, and bought us time besides. Moreover, it was fun to see the looks on their faces. If I'm not to be condemned as a witch, should I not at least enjoy my time as one? But that's besides the point. Where should we be off to now? The forest. It's too dangerous to go back to the library right now. Then to the forest we go.
Once we reach the forest, what is it that you hope to find? Tree leaves. Uh, from his favorite tree to climb. Then some of the rocks he loved to play skipping stones with from the spring. He played in that old spring? <sighs> yes, all the time. You know of it? I, I know it well. I have a cabin in these woods myself after all. That spring though, it isn't safe for play. I'm surprised no one cautioned him away. They did. He was just stubborn like that. Though, I guess they were right in the end. One of the rumors of his death was that he drowned. Rumors? If you live in the forest, you've probably not heard. I was sick with fever when he passed, and the funeral was private. Lots of folks that were, are, curious about what happened. What did happen? Don't remember. I was delirious when he was buried. And either way, illness or drowning, the end result is the same. I'm still alone. I'm here. We'll be safe here for the time being. I know where the spring is, but I'm afraid I'll need your guidance to find the tree you mentioned. Or we could just split up. Like you said, we're safe for now. So you can go find some rocks from the spring and I'll head for the tree. We can meet back here when we're done. That sounds doable. Do watch out for yourself, Marlene. That should do it. I best not keep Marlene waiting. Do you smell smoke? I see that our friend the Witchfinder has escaped and wasted no time resuming his duties. The madman means to burn us out. All that for a single witch. I know another way back to my house. We can escape that way. Come on. Go back on your own, tell your family that you escaped from my vile clutches, and I'll make my own way from here on out. We'll meet again though, I'm sure of it. Thomas boy who used to horse around with Finn that he said, oh, never mind, you're safe now and that's what matters. Forget about earning coins and what luck. I had the physician come to examine your father. Let him examine you as well. Hello, dear. As I was just saying to your mother, we will need to perform some tests to ensure your safety. These are entirely safe foolproof, and mostly painless. My leeches will tell me everything I need to know. Leeches? Fret not, they're not as scary as they sound. As I said, they're completely safe and you'll barely feel a thing. They'll just suck out a small amount of blood, which I will then inspect for any abnormalities of a magical nature. As you are such a young girl, I'll allow you a moment of privacy for this procedure. You can administer the leech yourself. Simply place it on your arm and let it stay for a minute as it does its work. 
then shout when you're ready for us to return. Is that clear, young lady? Good. Lady Joanna, if you'd follow me. Oh no. Oh no. What am I going to do if they think I'm possessed? <laughs> 